after approximately three months of being online, students fill the Pubble West hallways on January 20th. To help struggling students and teachers, Pubble West incorporated a homeroom and a six minute passing period. Now let's see what Pubble West students feel about this. Okay, so how has the integration of homeroom into your schedule helped your workload? Uh, I can actually do homework instead of having to cram it all at night. True. So how much, like how many hours of homework did you have before? Uh, before homeroom, five or six, now about four or three. So what's it looking like now? Uh, the homework's a lot easier. That's good. All right. Back news, what are your thoughts on hybrid? Um, I prefer it over online because it allows me to get into school and concentrate way better than studying okay. and trying to focus when I'm at you. home. Yep. Attack News, what are your opinions on hybrid learning? Um, it's a little difficult due to not being able to communicate with all the teachers, but since we're able to go back to school, I was able to get stuff more learned. Alright, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Juniors Allie Welch and Lexi Adams recently started a fundraiser to support the Posada Homeless Shelter. In doing this, they are asking students to bring in hygiene products in exchange for a free candy bar or gift. Here's some more information on that from Allie Welch. So what exactly is the fundraiser that you're doing right now? So I'm working with Ella Davis with Posada, which is a homeless shelter located in Pueblo. And recently they've been low on supplies because of COVID-19 as well as um, being financially unstable with everybody's money going down. So they're not receiving the do donations that they usually get during this time of year, which if they use those donations to give to the families, which they set them up for their future. So basically, some of the donations, like the shampoo and stuff, they give those families hotels that they can stay in, but the hotels don't provide them with any shampoo, toilet paper, any of those necessities. They get it for the one time, and when they're out, they're out. So that's where Posada comes in, and they bring them the shampoo, the conditioner, toilet paper, stuff like that, because those families don't have anything. They're coming off from the street. Wow, so I didn't know that. Um, where did you find all of that out and what inspired you to do this? So actually, we're doing a DECA manual and we chose a community service project and we wanted to focus on something near Pueblo. You can go as far out as you want, but Pueblo, we've recently saw a lot of homeless and in our generation specifically. So we contacted Posada with the intention of being a DECA manual and how they could, like, we could help them. And basically they said that they are in need of supplies because there are a lot of families coming in and not only like adult families, but like young adults. So like 18 year olds that have children that they have nowhere to go. And it really like touched us because we thought like that's when you leave high school, we're juniors in high school. And when you leave high school to think of being out on the street with nothing, it like really touched our heart. And when they said that they don't even have supplies to help them, we wanted to take action, which is when we um, came up with the idea of doing a drawing so that it could incorporate our school. So we got into contact with um, a bunch of clubs and organizations at Pueblo West High School, and that included like Student Council, NHS, um, Key Club, all of them, DECA. They all got involved, and each of them donated something different. Like even Dance and Cheer, they did baskets. So Dance did a feminine hygiene, so it was like tampons, shampoo, hairbrushes, everything of that sort. And then Cheer did home goods. So they did bowls, mugs, stuff that they would need in the hotel, um, kind of to like help them like live, like your everyday life, like your dish soap to wash the dishes, you know, basic stuff like that. And um, that really skyrocketed the whole thing because with already having that many donations, it was incredible. And then Student Council and Key Club and JROTC, they were also generous in giving us drawing baskets. So when a student brings in a new hygiene product or a household supply, um, they get a ticket for the drawing and there's three different baskets. There's like a movie night one that has games, um, movies and a huge cheetah like stuffed animal. And then there's a JROTC one that has water bottles, shirts. I can't even, I don't even remember a lot of stuff. And then the Key Club has t-shirts and candy and energy drinks. And it's just like a really good like three different varieties. So they get a ticket to put into the drawing and you get a free DECA store item. So if you bring in a shampoo bottle, you get a free 
candy bar, whatever you would like. And so we just thought it'd be really good to get the school involved while still like giving like intentions to the kids to bring it in because we know during this time it's hard for people to bring stuff in. So if they get something out of it and they're helping our community, we thought it'd be really special. Please bring in hygiene products by Thursday of next week. Now moving on to fake streaming websites, Pueblo West has had a scandal with a fake streaming website. They have been taking people's money saying they are streaming the Pueblo West basketball games and the Pueblo West girls basketball games, but they have not been streaming them. The only website Pueblo West uses is nfhsnetwork.com. I interviewed athletic director Zach O'Dell about the fake streaming websites. So we saw news that there was a fake streaming website for the Pueblo West High School. Um, how did you find out about that? Uh, I found out about it from football. I saw it uh, in football where it was, a, 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 where it was a, a game we were supposed to go and travel and play, and uh, a lot of people unfortunately clicked on it and spent the money and ended up losing out on the money. So once I saw that they started doing it again for basketball, I reported it to Facebook, um, I, I messaged them, slow down a little bit but they continue to do it so I I do a lot of stuff on the, the Pueblo West Facebook and so when they, they tag that one it, I saw in the notifications I said here we go again so this has happened before and yeah, how bad was it it happened in football and so all of our stuff's on the NFHS network and so which you have to pay for I mean it's out of our control that's that's what they charge to provide that service but uh, this other one made the people not want to trust our own. That is a real one that, you know, we work real hard to make sure that, that it's it's always calibrated and that it always looks good and you're able to see the score. So, um, and then of course that means that our fans are, our family members aren't going to be able to see their kids play. So it kind of hurt us in, in that. So uh, that that was the most disappointing part. But you know, by the end of it, I think our last game with Fallon, we had 1,500 viewers on our NFHS one that we, that we had here at home. And you know, think about it, that's a pretty good number. Uh, and so, you know, today I had a, went in and I, they remote into the machine and calibrated our one in the gym and uh, everything looked good. I, I ran some practice ones all week, so we'll see what happens. On January 25th, Pueblo West High School students were instructed to stay home for a snow day. However, this snow day differed greatly from past snow days and that students were told to attend class online rather than having the day off. In response to this, KOAA News sent out a survey to weigh students' opinions on this, and many parents, including students, said no, saying that snow days were the highlight of students' education. Now let's interview the student body to see what their take on this is. Do you prefer the new snow days or the old snow days? Um, I prefer the old snow days. Why do you prefer the old snow days? because we actually got a, a whole day of not having to go online and just time for everyone to sleep in and not worry about joining online classes and conferences and Zoom meetings. So I like it a lot more. I prefer the old snow days. Why do you do that? Because it gives us time to sleep and do extra work for that. Is that what made snow days so special? Yes. Pueblo West basketball recently had a game playing Pueblo East losing 65-54. to Pueblo East now moves to 2-0 while Pueblo West struggles to find its winning start with a 0-3 season. We're going to highlight some National uh, Hockey League scores. The Ducks beat the Kings 3-1. The Jets um, came out triumphant over the Flames 3-2. And the o Edmonton Oilers beat the uh, Ottawa Senators 4-2.